You asked for this. So last week I got a ton of comments from people that wanted to see their favorite antenna tested against my RSP1A back in my house. So for those of you that are watching this for the first time, I'm about a mile and a half, two miles from my home. I have a 15 foot vertical antenna connected to an RSP1A software defined radio. And I have it set up to record signal to noise ratio on any received signals. So we're gonna transmit from here with the same radio, and I've gone to the Kenwood THF6 for this because it's flat on the top. The problem with radios like the ID52 and the Yaesu FT5DR is that they have that GPS hump on the top, and that hump is gonna get in the way of the antennas when you try and seat them on it, particularly for things like an abri, right? Once you throw this on the top, it's just too wide of a base. So we're gonna start with this, and I've got a couple of other fun things planned. So. Let's start off with the baseline antenna, the stock antenna. All right, so stock rubber duck, high power. It is 10.50 in the morning. This is Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. This is transmitting at high power into the stock rubber duck antenna. Uh-oh, yeah, the home SDR did not pick up the stock antenna, neither high power nor low power. The rest of them all hit. I'm in a slightly different location. I'm about five feet less high than I was in the last video, but let's continue on. Now, when I bought this radio, it came with this uh, Diamond SRH815S, which physically is an upgrade to the rubber duck. You can see it here, but does it perform any, any good? Is it a good transmitter? So here we go, high power with the Diamond. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, transmitting with the Diamond SRH815S at high power, high power. Low power. This is the Diamond SRH815S at low power, low power, low power. I like this one, it's, it's whippy and it kind of matches the smaller profile of this uh, radio. That's the one I normally have on it, but with what we talked about, I'm definitely gonna start carrying the half wave. Maybe not leave it on the radio, but I'll definitely use it when we get out there. Speaking of those half waves and the 5.8s from last week, we are going to test them again just so we have a new baseline against this radio because it probably performs differently than the ID52. That's just my guess. So this antenna, highly recommended by a couple of people, the Tway RDO. Tway RDO, the RH770. This is a dual band 220 and 70 centimeter antenna. Uh, I unfortunately bought it with SMA female, it should have been SMA male, so I am using an adapter that's not preferred, but it's not going to add any issue uh, to the signal report. Let's test it. Okay. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu with the Tway radio at high power, Tway radio antenna at high power. And now low power. This is the Tway radio in low power, low power, low power. And again, for those of you that don't know what I'm doing here, uh, the audio that you're hearing is the audio I'm picking up at my home station. So it's truly a audio and signal strength test. All right, you know channel favorite, the Signal Stuff Signal Stick, the super elastic. I put this on just about all my HTs, um, except for this guy with the little tiny portable one. But I've got a bunch of these. So we're testing it for the transmitted signal strength. Here we go, high power. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, high power with the Signal Stuff Signal Stick. Signal Stuff Signal Stick at high power. And here is low power. This is the Signal Stuff Signal Stick at low power, low power, low power. I'm really curious to see what this, how this one goes. Um, eventually we'll get to a place where I start doing these with VHF, UHF. UHF is the one, right now we're focusing on two meters because most of these telescopic antennas are two meters. But some of the antennas here are dual band, like this one which is the Abri 18 inch. All right, the least annoying of the Abris, by annoying I mean physically, the 18 incher is a dual band. The problem that you can probably see right there, big gap. These come with grommets usually that can go between the body of the antenna and the radio to kind of shore that up a little bit if in case you're worried about shear load. Anyway, here's high power on the 18 inch. 
Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu with the Abri 18-inch antenna, high power, high power. This is the Abri 18 and low power, low power, low power. Next, a definite favorite of mine. This is the antenna I bought for my FT60 long, long time ago. So you could argue that this is a old antenna. Maybe the newer ones are a little bit better, but we are going to be testing the SRH77CI or CA by Diamond. This is the Diamond SRH77CA at high power, high power, high power. This is the SRH77CA, low power, low power, low power. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu. And of course, I have the Abri 47 inch, but I'm going to save that one to the end. Retaking a baseline with the Kenwood. This is the Smiley 5 8 vertical, Smiley 5 8 vertical highway, high power. This is the Smiley. 5 8 wave vertical low power low power low power we're going to test something with these guys in a second here so hang tight new baseline new baseline this is the mfj long ranger long ranger at high power high power mfj long ranger at low power low power low power all right my favorite from the last time the smiley half wave with the <laughs> flex bit at the bottom here anyway high power Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, this is the Smiley Half Wave, Smiley Half Wave, High Power, High Power, High Power. This is the Smiley Half Wave in Low Power, Low Power, Low Power. Well, it's time. You definitely commented on this antenna. <laughs> Some of you did. The Abri 47 incher, and this one actually is the one that has the gooseneck. So I am going to test it with and without the gooseneck, and we're going to see if it's a, a big change in performance. I will tell you, I don't know how long this has been sitting uh, on the shelf in Amazon, but the ends here, the folded ends, are just, uh, <laughs> it, it wants to fold in on itself on the ends that have been folded up. So I've been going back and forth, folding it back ways, um, going, folding it one way and folding back the other because I'm assuming this is going to stress eventually and break. All right, here we go. <laughs> 47 incher, here you go. This is Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu with the Abri 47 inch without the flexible gooseneck at high power. This is the Abri 47 inch at low power minus the flexible gooseneck. <laughs> All right, here's the gooseneck. This is the Abri 47 inch with the flexible neck at high power, high power. This is the Abri with the flexible gooseneck, low power, low power, low power. This is crazy. You can see this thing, right? This is a crazy antenna. <laughs> it just folded. That's the problem you have with this is it's not very reliable folded like that because it just wants to crash over. Well, the results were fascinating. The MFJ Long Ranger still maintains its title at the top ranking, followed by the Abri 47 inch. You know, that's the 47 inch without the gooseneck attachment. The gooseneck attachment actually reduced the signal to noise ratio. So if you have this antenna, don't run the gooseneck. The Twee R Radio RDO performed very well, and the Smiley is right in there as well, and then you can see everything kind of starts to fall off uh, pretty dramatically. Note that the audio you're hearing, that is the quality of the audio received, and, and you can go back and listen to some of the parts. Some of these sounded very good. And as always, remember, this is a transmit signal test. This is about how effective it is a transmitter, the antenna. It's not about how convenient it is. The MFJ Long Ranger, pretty convenient. The 47 inch Abri, a floppy mess, but still. Now flipping it over to the low power side, so transmitting at low power, the Abri 47 inch did a fantastic job, followed by the Long Ranger, then the gooseneck version. But again, look at the difference in the signal to noise ratio between the 47 inch with and without the gooseneck. And then there again is the Smiley, the one half and then a five eighths right behind it. The Tway RDO fell off pretty hard on the low power test and, and I don't really know why. I may have to go back and, and change up some of my methodology here. There was a couple of lessons learned that I have. This may just be my mistake on the Tway RDO because it did perform pretty well on the transmit on the high side. There's something else I want to test since we're here. Last week we did the hand mic. This week we are going to try out the Ziptenna. This is a spring-loaded tether you attach to your radio via this little cord and it carabiners onto a bag or you know backpack strap or belt loop or whatever but uh, the claim by QuirkyQRP, the, the manufacturers of the Ziptenna, this is a metal tether 
This should function as a passive radial or ground plane for your radio. Specifically, what I want to test is uh, take a bearing against the 5 8 wave and some of the quarter wave antennas and compare that against the half wave antennas to see if there's a big change. Basically, how this works is there's painted lines. So there's a painted black line there, and then there's another one, and then there's two more. So this will take you from 70 centimeters up through two meter ham. It also includes MERS, Maritime, and weather stations on the third marker. And of course there's 1.25 meters in there as well. So I'm going to leave this retracted. I take a baseline. This is at, we're going to leave it high power. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu, baseline ID 52A with the 5 8 wave smiley. All right, so now we know what the signal to noise ratio is with this retracted. Let's pull it out to the fourth line for two meters and try it again. All right, so here's the fourth line. I'm gonna hold this down here. Kilo India 6, November Alpha Zulu with the 5 8 wave smiley with the zip tenna extended, extended zip tenna. Cool, let's try that with another antenna. Signal stuff, signal stick. Take a baseline with the 52, then we'll do the zip tenna. This is the signal stuff signal stick into the ID52 baseline power output. Here's with the zip tenna extended. Any difference, any difference. And I will note this picnic table is metal and I am keeping it back a ways from it when I'm holding it. So I don't know if that's gonna affect things. So it's my belief that 5 8 waves, quarter wave antennas will benefit from something like this passive radial, but not so much half wave. We can test that. Let's try it right now. All right, Kilo India 6 November Alpha Zulu. This is the baseline Smiley one half wave uh, antenna with the zip tenna ex retracted. All right, now we're going to do it again with the zip tenna extended, like so. All right, this is the, the extended zip tenna test with the Smiley half wave. Smiley half wave with the extended zip tenna. All right, I really had fun making the first video, and I had a lot of fun actually answering your questions on this new video, this one we're making right now, with you know the antennas that we all love, like the Signal Stuff Signal Stick. Today was just a transmitter test in that I'm transmitting from the park to my home to test signal strength. We're not really testing the received aspect of these antennas yet, but I have something in works uh, to be able to test that out here in the park. So come out here and be able to receive a reliable, consistent signal uh, when I'm here and we can judge how good we're receiving it with some gear that I'll bring out into the field. So if you are having fun with this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. I'm a couple of hundred dollars into antennas on every one of these videos that I produce. This is uh, not trying to get any free gear. I want to be as objective as possible and treat these all equally fairly. So I'm just going to buy them all. If you would consider supporting my channel, you can check it out at Patreon in the link below or join here on the YouTube membership program. So what's your favorite antenna? post in the comments below. I'd like to hear it. I'll add it to my list to make sure I get it reviewed. I will tell you that there is no way I'm keeping all of these antennas. I am going to give away most of these, so make sure you're following me. Uh, subscribe here on YouTube. Consider joining the Discord as well because that's generally how I run my giveaways. Join the Discord. The link is in the description, and then look at the hashtag giveaways chat. There's probably nothing there posted yet, but I will be definitely giving away things like the Abri. I think this Tway uh, Radio, the Tway Radio is probably going to go. I was at the HRO, I'll leave you with this little anecdote. I was at the HRO yesterday and there was a couple guys with really nice Motorola radios and they are the Baofeng connector type and uh, they have the stock antenna on there and what's cool about the Motorola is it's actually got a screen that will show the received signal strength and uh, they were getting uh, on two meters, they were getting 50 or yeah, it was about 53 I think um, RSI, I believe, was the number, but it's received signal strength. And so I had him take the stock antenna off, and he puts this on, and I believe he was getting over, like, 72 uh, on the receive side of the repeater. It was really, it, it could be either way. I'm not sure if it was receive or transmit. I don't know Motorola's very well, but he was very impressed with this antenna and asked where I got it. I got this off of Amazon. I will link this in the description. I'll link all these antennas in the description so you can find them. Keep in mind it is an Amazon affiliates link, so I am getting a little piece of the action. If you buy stuff, it costs you no more, but it does go to help the channel, and I do appreciate it. I am Josh, KI6NAZ. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. 73. All right, let's get out of here.
<laughs> there's a lot of antennas to back up. I really am interested in you guys uh, telling me what you want me to review next as far as antennas go for VHF, UHF. I know there's one, there's one you've definitely been asking me about, and I will test it. I would like to have, oh no, the button just broke off my radio for the lamp. I see it. It just ripped off. Oh no. Okay, we'll have to fix that. It goes in the egg bag. Here's my antenna bundle. <laughs> Jam it in here. And that's it, we're done. All right guys, thanks for watching, see ya.